Hello, my name is Terry Emmons. You're in the heart of Greenwich Village, where most of the apartments here are very, very, very small. Come down and see what I've done with 300 square feet, huh? The neighborhood reminds me of Paris. Parisian pied-à-terre was basically my idea. If the third time's the charm, that the interior designer has just finished the final renovation of his miniature one-bedroom apartment. This time, Terry went for neoclassic with a deco modern twist. He's traveled to Versailles over 60 times and wanted a palace like look for the teeny space. I really love modern. Using these very bold colors, they create such a pop atmosphere. But I have this uh, real place in my heart for uh, classical architecture. Mirrors and glass open up the living and dining area. I have a very close friend that's a uh, French photographer, Laurent Talibadesi, and I've acquired a lot of uh, art because he doesn't have space in his apartment. He did this piece three years ago and it was really such a great, inspiring piece to me that I basically did the colors of the apartment after it. One of the things I did want to do in the apartment was to have a large dinner table. I bought the table in Paris um, a couple of years ago. And I decided on uh, putting the glass top on it so that it didn't look large. Before the skylight was really just a plain box and now I've taken and uh, excruciatingly climbed up this very, very tall ladder. I used paint and tape and made big panels so it actually feels as if it's a paneled room in the sky. I uh, created these pilasters that mimic the architecture of the rest of the apartment. And in fact, they are closets. Huh? So you can see that I have a shoe fetish, <laughs> and I really needed the extra space for the long hanging. Huh? The fireplace I've added a lot of detail to, and as you see, it's got new corbels and lots of great uh, molding on it. I put crown molding at the top, and I'm really excited about how it came out. Huh? I created these arches, which you see here. They have the limestone inset in them. A lot of people think it requires magic to make a small space seem larger. Well, it doesn't require magic, but it does require a bit of trickery. By painting the arches above the window, it draws your eye up and it creates the illusion of more space. Drapes aren't only for windows. Terry hung curtains so he has the option to close off his open kitchen. The kitchen is really small, but I have cooked for over 17 people out of this. Open storage, uh, small under-the-counter uh, refrigerator, and full-size 24-inch stove and oven. I usually have to go out every day and uh, buy my groceries, but that's basically like uh, they do it in Europe. So I always have fresh food. He carried the pink and green palette into the bathroom. Throughout the bathroom, I have uh, art all over the place uh, to bring in the pink and the green colors. I think it's really important to have um, some very colorful artwork in the bathroom. It really adds a lot of interest. Terry found space for a home office in his tiny bedroom. My closet in my bedroom I actually took out and put my office in the bottom of it and moved the closets to the upper part of the room and created uh, a painting that I did when I was 19 in college and uh, cut it in three pieces and made a triptych painting that is actually the doors for the closet. I did acquire a, the ability to have a full-size bed, storage underneath. You can see I have the bookshelf above that uh, creates a library. The color combination was basically Italian wedding cake almost, I would say. The green I really liked because we don't have a lot of trees in Manhattan and it had a feeling of bringing the outside inside. Many people think a small space has to be painted white. Why? Be bold, experiment. If you don't like it, it's a small space. You could repaint in an afternoon.